Universe 2 is a universe based on love. Everyone in this universe is all about over exaggerated love, which is unique enough for Dragon Ball, but it's a quick gimmick that looks like it will only last for a couple of episodes, because come the end of this episode, Android 17 has taken down two of Universe 2's fighters easily, and he is now left alone to fight the leader of Universe 2. Speaking of the next episode, in the preview, it's Gohan. He is the one commentating, and he'll be fighting the last remaining members of Universe 10. There aren't many of these guys left, even the latest episode I'm pretty sure one got knocked out and the episode wasn't even about them. So after Universe 9, 10 looks like it's going to be the next to go. Also, Hit is staring down another Universe 11 Pride Trooper and this time it's the Beerus lookalike Dispo. So I'm expecting a fight between them in the next coming episodes probably won't end up getting finished because if it does, Hit will win one on one with him, no doubt and I don't see them eliminating another Pride Trooper already when there's only four left. The final thing I want to mention in the next episode preview is that if you pause here, Gohan is in his ultimate form, so unlike Goku, he's going to be taking the fight seriously. It starts with him punching Botamo the same way literally everyone else does, and if there's any Universe 6 fighter that I want to see get eliminated, it's Botamo, so I'm hoping Gohan can just do it. The ending theme to Dragon Ball Super has been updated for the Tournament of Power. It's had this one for a while, and if you watch all the way until the end of a Dragon Ball Super episode, you'll notice the song in the background. I like this ending for a lot of different reasons. It goes over all the main fighters in this Tournament of Power from every universe with the exception of I think Universe 9 and 10, but after it shows all the other fighters, it shows Goku injured and beaten down with no one around. He is alone. Then the one person to step out from behind the rubble is Gohan. What I think this is referring to are the final stages of this tournament, how it will be won or lost. Goku is going to get a new form, that's been all but confirmed, however this ending goes a different way. After we see Goku and Gohan together ready to fight, every member of Universe 7 is on the sidelines watching and it starts with Krillin, then Tien, followed by Vegeta, 18 and 17, then finally Piccolo, Roshi and Frieza. Going from left to right, this is believed to be the order of elimination for Universe 7, with Krillin going first and the rest is still yet to be seen. To me, this makes sense, and really I can't see it going any other way. If Tien is the next person to get thrown out, then for me, that is the elimination order. And so that leaves Goku and Gohan fighting last together. Now, a few days ago, a fusion between the two fighters from Universe 2 was said to be allowed, meaning that fusion is not against the rules of this tournament. And if it comes down to Goku and Gohan vs Jiren, and Goku's new form doesn't work, or it's just not strong enough, there is a possibility for Goku and Gohan to fuse. It's not against the rules. What almost came to be in the Buu Saga is a very possible outcome in the Tournament of Power. As they said in the last episode, there's still 39 minutes to go until the fate of the multiverse gets decided. And and from the start of this tournament, when it first got announced to its exhibition matches and all the way up until it began, it has been about Goku and Gohan. This story is more about them than anyone else in Universe 7, so even if they don't fuse, they will be fighting together very closely. Anyway, that's what I think about recent events in Dragon Ball Super and kind of the ending and how it's going to play out. Gohan doesn't know the fusion dance right now, but Future Trunks learnt the Mafu Bar evil containment wave in a few seconds, so they can make time. Let me know what you think, I want to thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next Dragon Ball video.